I'm not waiting until she's 18. I'll go now. I'm 23, dog. Like, I'm not like a creepy age. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad Taste of Music, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Machine Gun Kelly album titled Mainstream Sellout. What a name. Machine Gun Kelly. Now, I never liked anything I heard from Machine Gun Kelly. I think that his pop-punk music is really not that great. Um, but it was until I checked out his actual album tickets to my downfall that I kind of formed a uh, full opinion on his entire outfit of pop-punk work. It sucks. I think Machine Gun Kelly offers literally nothing to the genre of pop punk, which is already a genre uh, littered with tons of garbage. His voice is absolutely grating and terrible. His lyrics are insufferably cringe and edgy beyond belief. And uh, yeah, he writes these songs like he has two brain cells left in his brain. And yeah, he, uh, that's about it. I've heard some very bad things about this project, but who knows, maybe this will be the project that wins me over for Machine Gun Kelly called Mainstream Sellout, 16 songs, 40 minutes. Here we go, first song, Born With Horns. Okay, decent instrumental. Travis Barker's on the drums again. Yeah, wow, just like the first album, uh, I feel like I'm being assaulted with really underwritten bars, and uh, it sounds like everything is being as compressed and squeezed as possible to make it feel as loud and abrasive as possible without actually giving me um, anything of real power. Part one, why is it so hard to live? Part two, I shouldn't have done what I did. Part three, everyone's left me alone. Part four, I don't want to live anymore. Seriously, that's it? He's like saying, oh, this is a film I live in. There's no happy ending. Life sucks. Uh. Okay, soft breakdown here. Wow, it's really taking a risk. This dude has the worst voice in pop punk. Holy shit. Holy shit, this is bad. This, this is literally the worst. I mean, this dude is like... Mega garbage personality, and on top of it, just him playing dress up with this fucking pop punk crap, dude. I I didn't buy it when I first heard it, uh, and this second serving of it is not doing me any better. More costume party pop punk crap, just like the last project. Red headphones. Dog. Next song, God Save Me. God save me. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, this guy sucks! This album so far is miserable. I feel like there's nothing original here. I mean, even the mainstream sellout title, this literally is like the worst pop punk revivalism ever. Doing this fucking pop punk crap in the most, like, simple, bare minimum way. I mean, holy shit, the only thing saving these tracks, and I say saving sparingly, is the drumming from Travis Barker, which the dude is clearly an expert at drums. And the riffs that are somehow heavy enough to distract me from the awful mix and horrific singing of Machine Gun Kelly. Also, this album starts off exactly like his last album, where the first song is extremely heavy and, oh my god, life sucks, I wanna die. And then the next song literally sounds like a pop punk uh, cut that this, I'm, I'm serious. Let me just show you. It's it's the exact same thing. Not even kidding. Extremely over the top first song and then Kiss Kiss. The next one is literally the pop punk uh, fucking basic ass equivalency. I mean, this dude sucks, but I, I gotta say, at least this fucking album isn't as unbearable as this shit. Okay, wow, this dude, once again, this is quite literally ripping off Blink-182. Not even in a subtle way in the slightest, his vocals are identical to Blink-182, and I don't even listen to Blink-182, and I know that. I can spot that. You listen to Blink-182, you're telling me you can't spot that? I'm a lost boy, she's a goth girl, she's a pop girl, I know a one way to a lost world. Damn, wow, he takes drugs, that's so deep, oh my god. Bro, 
what the fuck do you care about the government tapping the phone, dude? You don't even care about your own life. How are you going to convince me that you actually give a shit about the government tapping your phone? I'm sorry, but that's the most unbelievable part of this entire album. Yeah, these lyrics are... wow. There's, I, I'm sorry, there's no way in hell he thought this was good. There's no way in hell. Like, this guy knows he's just making this album to continue uh, just pushing out garbage music, probably fulfilling a contract or trying to make something for a live set or something, because this shit... This is the most bare minimum shit ever. I'm fucked up. I'm lost boy. I know a goth girl. She's a goth girl. Is that you singing? Yeah, that was me singing. It's not that hard to be a pop punk singer, dude. I could do this shit. That was God save me. I'm such a lost child, such a lost boy. I need God. Please help me. Oh, and while, uh, while you're helping me, uh, allow me to create the most generic song that has ever been created. A song with zero original ideas, nothing original in the sound, and completely devoid of any likable characteristics. That's a red headphones. Dog. Mainstream Sellout is an extremely appropriate name for this album so far. Next song may be featuring Bring Me the Horizon. I believe I heard this song already. Um, it sounds like the same generic Machine Gun Kelly crap, but with uh, Bring Me the Horizon's heavy instrumentation in the background, adding basically nothing. Two, three, four. Maybe if I had something to say, butterfly effect from the last three days. Hey. Oh, Yeah, this dude doesn't have an original bone in his body. Maybe if I had something to say, butterfly effect from the last three days now. Maybe if I had something to say, if I used to have a soul till I threw it away. God, this is the most basic shit in the entire world. Oh my God. Dude, these guys just do not belong together, man. Machine Gun Kelly is a fucking poser, and at least the guy in Bring Me the Horizon has a little bit of talent, but it really feels like, I don't know, it just feels like he's giving such a weak performance here. Maybe if we went another way, I wouldn't be regretting the decisions that I made. I don't want to spend another day Looking for somebody I know I can't replace. My tears fall, you don't miss me. Put me out of my misery. I think my heart is history. Think I'm broken, nothing, nothing can fix me. You literally cannot dumb this down further. It's literally called mainstream sellout and I've never agreed with a title more in my life. You could not make this more mainstream and less like- Very self-aware of it. I know, it's just, well it's, it's not even, you know, it's so, he's so no, self-aware. Yeah, he's so self-aware. Ew! <sighs> that was... <sighs> Damn, it's, uh, Red Headphones. I almost said Smiley Ball on accident. Red Headphones, <laughs> that would have, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, my brain has turned to mush. There is nothing of value here. It is completely devoid of any positive characteristics. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Next song, Drug Dealer featuring Lil Wayne. Yes, that Lil Wayne. I need a, hold on. I need a drug dealer to sell me these drugs. I need all the drugs. I need to get a hug from a young emo girl. Yeah, I need to rub my pee. I'm consensually. I'm a singer, Kelly. I wake up. In case you don't know, drug dealer is about how he's with this girl who's also a drug dealer and he can't front, he wants it first. Drug dealer girl! This is actually the stupidest thing in the entire fucking world. This is ass. My anatomy is made up of alcohol. It's been 70 hours on Adderall. These ain't cavities, it's platinum in my teeth. Stoner and a loner call her up, she coming over. This, this, is genius. Oh, my dad's calling, one sec guys.
Love you too. Bye. Sorry about that, guys. My dad called, and I just told him about the music I was listening to, um, and how the song's called Drug Dealer, uh, and how it's about how he's uh, dating a girl who's also his drug dealer, and the chorus goes, drug dealer girl, yeah, 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 drug dealer girl, mm, and he agreed. He said, that sounds fucking awful. Wow, this production is fucking horrible. <laughs> If I wasn't reading along with the lyrics, I wouldn't be able to know what he's saying because the mix is so shit, he is literally getting uh, erased from existence. Also, who thought it would be a good idea to introduce Lil Wayne back into the world of rock music? This sounds so bad. Okay, Red Headphones, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, that song was so fucking bad uh, that it reminded me of Lil Wayne's Rebirth. However, this is somehow worse, because at least that album, Lil Wayne is somewhat of a likable character uh, and an entertaining figure and has at least a little bit of wit and charisma, whereas Machine Gun Kelly has zero charisma uh, and is a complete asshole, unlikable guy in the most uh, literal sense. That was absolutely horrific holy shit that was bad enemy gave this album an 80 by the way next song wall of fame interlude what's this wall we love the wall but i want to be on it does that make sense wow even the interludes are boring um <laughs> hey it's better than any interlude off the last project okay which means literally nothing red headphones Dog. complete waste of time I guess it exists. Next song, Mainstream Sellout, the uh, the lead single here. I guess we're going to get some context to the album, possibly the theme of this album. Ooh, the theme. I heard the feedback on the poster with the cats on high sunglasses. Can you sing any worse, Machine Gun Kelly? Please, my ears are still intact. I, I, I need somebody to get something out of them. I, I feel like you just need to sing a little bit worse. Yeah, wow. Wow! Wow! His singing's ass! Holy shit! Wow, he's so aware he's a poser with a guitar and a choker. I mean, I don't even care. I'm like reading the lyrics because I just don't... The music's so bad, I don't even know if I'll be able to follow along with it. Okay, so there's... It's just the entire thing is him echoing the truth that he is garbage. It's so post-ironic. Whoa! Whoa! This song is so bad. Oh my god, it sounds bad. Oh my god, it sounds bad. Dude, holy shit! This hits the absolute lowest bar possible. This actually is the worst sounding song here. I mean, every song so far has been horrible. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most unlikable shit I've ever heard. Oh god, this is bad. This is awful. This is awful, man. Come on, what is this shit? What is this shit? Stop! This song makes everything else up to this point sound like fucking Black Sabbath in comparison. I just chose a random band. Whatever. Any band that's... Any band is better than this shit, man. This... Wow! Red headphones. Wow! Wow! That is so bad! Oh my god! Jeez, that was absolutely embarrassing. That is the... the Wow! That is the worst. I mean, the, the mix literally is the most awful compressed shit that's ever existed. His singing is horrible. His attitude is absolutely awful. I've never felt this fucking way, man. God, what a shit show. I can go on forever about how absolutely horrible that song was. Next song, Make Up Sex. Oh wait, that's right. The song's not over. It's got 30 seconds left. And I might as well finish it. Right now. Walk that, dude. 
Yeah, fuck that. Oh, none of it's true. <laughs> it's not true. It's bullshit. Listen to this song that confirms every fucking thing that I say on this song. With zero self-awareness. Next song, Makeup Sex featuring Black Bear. <laughs> Someone in the comments suggest me some good pop punk music, okay? I want to follow up this video with actual good pop punk. Like, seriously, and don't... And please, for the love of God, th there is good pop punk out there, okay? It's not this. <laughs> songs if they're not obnoxious they're so boring and have nothing of value just these chugging bum 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 guitars and you're a girl who I like yeah you're my type yeah I'm fucking 30 years old and I'm machine gun Kelly and I'm making songs made by fucking 17 year olds yeah, this was popular in the 2000s, but this is the most dated sound of all time, and I'm trying to revive it. <laughs> this is so fucking bad. This is actually worse than his last album. It's not even close. Like, his last album had some catchy hooks when I think about it now. I mean, I was like, oh, man, everything on that album sucks when I first heard it. But listening to this, I'm like, holy shit, this, the last album was a goddamn masterpiece compared to this shit. That was the most generic cookie-cutter crap that has ever existed. That actually makes the rest of this album um, look original in comparison. I'm giving that a red headphones. Un Unbelievably bad, nothing redeemable, literally sounds like if you put into a computer, make a fucking pop punk song, it would shit that out. Next song, Emo Girl, featuring Willow. I fell in love with an emo girl. I fucking fell in love with a 14 year old. Oh, wow. I love hearing Machine Gun Kelly describe an emo girl, dude. I love it. What are you, Jeezy? <laughs> sure likes guys with a big mmm. Ah. Wow, Willow actually has a, a relative amount of charisma, and she sounds fun um, in comparison with Machine Gun Kelly's absolutely horrific, unlikable, uncharismatic. Existence. Willow is a breath of fresh air in comparison with the absolute intoxicating shit smell of Machine Gun Kelly. I fell in love with an emo girl. I fell in love with an emo girl. I fell in love with an emo girl. These two people have zero chemistry. They they literally have no chemistry. Yeah, no, this album's so bad, I'm actually gonna raise my score of the last album from a, uh, from a light one to probably about, um, a mid one, probably. Cause this is making me reevaluate re the sheer unlistenability of, uh, the last project in comparison with this. Because, I mean, with the last project with Tina in the room, I was able to make it through. Here, I would be more than happy to stop listening at this point. Uh, and give up and just say, yeah, this album's bad, considering I expect the rest of this album to sound identical to this already just like cookie cutter crap. I mean, I do not expect a single fucking difference between this and any other goddamn song. You can, you could not convince me that this next song is not gonna be the same pop punk crap. Next song, 5150. I mean, red headphones, if I didn't already oh. say it. Yeah, that was, um, 5150. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad, dude. It's so bad. Oh my god. How is this real? Wait. He's referring to a California law when the law enforcement can detain someone with a mental illness who's acting out of sorts when they make themselves to make sure they aren't a danger to themselves or others. Are you, are you fucking serious? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, it's so bad! It's so bad! It's so bad. Every song is the same compressed garbage. It's so bad! It's so bad! How does anyone listen to this shit, dude? I'm exhausted, man. I just want to listen to that new Denzel Curry, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Red, he red headphones. Dog. Uh, 5150 is... You know, it, it's funny because songs like this actually... Because I, I hate every song on this album so far. I think Machine Gun Kelly is an unlistenable voice uh, with an incredibly awful attitude and with a background of literally the most generic, shitty, overcompressed crap around him. But songs like that make me reevaluate and say, oh, no, no, this, this is one of the worst songs. Yeah. So bad that it actually makes every other awful song sound better in comparison. Next song, Paper Cuts. I'm a punk. Yeah, yeah. Signed a deal. I got paper cuts. They want it down. One, Hold on. Slept in, faked sick, smoked a blunt, had a kid? Huh? He has a daughter. Well, that explains why he's making this fucking garbage music, because he has to provide for his family. Funny enough, actually, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm punk. Ooh, I make the easiest fucking music. Yeah, yeah. Hello, world. You fucking suck. Ah! I mean, wow. Wow. Oh my god. It's so bad. Uh, I'm a genius could have made Donda. Well, then why don't you make an album like Donda? I'm a genius could have made Donda. But this song is from my dead father. Wow. Feel bad for him. Hey, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, that was a little low. That was a low blow, okay? That was too far, I admit. I admit. I'm a genius. It could have made Donda, and yet you make this shit, man. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, my mom's calling. That was my mom calling. I told her about how awful this album is and how uh, Machine Gun Kelly calls himself a genius while simultaneously making the worst fucking album of the year. I'm giving that song a red headphones. I've heard Dog. it before. I never listened to the entire thing, but I gotta say, man, it's even worse than when I first heard it. It is significantly worse. This singing is horrible, man. Oh, God. Next song, World War IV, but I still got 20 seconds of this song left, so excuse me while I suffer. I'm a punk! Yeah, yeah! World War IV. Dude, are you kidding me? This shit again, dude? You already did this! This album's fucking identical to the last one! But worse! Idiot! Pulling the monitor doesn't do fucking shit! That's the most unintentionally funny and stupid line of this entire album. Let's go to the mainframe and pull the monitor off. Quite literally is the stupidest fucking thing you could say. Calling yourself a genius and immediately following it with that is actually so funny. Holy shit, dude. This is good entertainment right here. Go. 
this was going to be a song on the album, but I can't sing anything right Wow, even Machine Gun Kelly at the very end of the song admits that it's lazy and incomplete. <laughs> but have fun with Dog. This shit's embarrassing. Next song, A, featuring Lil Wayne. A! I wrote a letter to myself. A, A, A. Score is kind of catchy. Lil Wayne's so funny, dude. I love Lil Wayne. But I'll never get tired of him. It, like, like the charisma of Lil Wayne allows him to get away with the stupidest shit because he actually is, like, trying to be funny or clever in some sort of way, dude. Machine Gun Kelly is such a fucking embarrassment. That was the catchiest song by far. I was actually able to forget that I was listening to the most unlikable person in the world, Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, Lil Wayne was kind of funny, even though his verse still kind of sucked. The songs are red headphones, but I gotta commend the actual... Um, you know what? They, it doesn't actually do anything better. It's just different, which is a fucking relief from this copy-and-paste pop-punk garbage, man. It's not even a good song. It's just different and god damn does it feel good to hear something just a little bit different fake love don't last featuring ian dior oh this dude's attitude sucks and you can't even tell me it's a character because this dude sucks in real life dude Oh, uh, the scores. Uh, uh, at least Ian Dior's voice sounded pretty nice, but that's the only compliment I could give this because his lyrics still sucked. He still just, nah, nah, don't care, boring ass attitude over this fucking boring ass copy and paste punk punk crap. <laughs> That was the catchiest song on this entire album so far. In fact, I go as far as to say that's the first song on this album I didn't hate. I didn't like the song, but I didn't hate it. Red Headphones, Dog. easily the best track here so far. Um, I feel like the I Don't Care attitude works decently well, but I still feel like the instrumental sucks, uh, and I'm still unimpressed. So, you know, it's a step in the right direction for sure, but no. Die in California <laughs> featuring Gunna and Young Thug. Gunna and young thug oh god i don't even know how the, how how this is gonna go so wrong dude these are the worst lyrics of all time you cannot convince me otherwise this dude sucks at writing a song <laughs> I got a house in the hills and I fucking hate it. I'm so fucking upset at my life. I hate my life, even though I got a really sexy wife and, and daughter that I love with all my heart. I still hate my life. I hate everything about it. Drugs are the only thing of value to me. I'm not even going to make a mention of the fact that I'm a father. And anything except for one song because I got nothing of value to actually bring to any of these tracks Instead of actually telling you about my real life or anything genuine about what's actually going on with me I got that bitch sucking me cause she was sucking me I got a hoe and she was calling me stop calling me I blocked the number and then I thumped her in an asshole then I took a right to my castle, made her a casserole, took her to Castro. Yeah, you know me, I am an asshole. Like Machine Gun Kelly and your girlfriend calling me on the celly. Uh. They gonna be missing me, it's gonna be chaos. When it come down to my royalties, I keep still and miss the exit by any means. Watch out for the ops, watch out for the cops, they kill for anything. I got pride on shoes, pride of tea. Love my brother, rest in peace. Okay, yeah, okay, so. Typical. <laughs> this is identical to how he writes every fucking song. <laughs> wow, it's not even, dude, I love Young Thug, but this is just a boring verse. I die in California. I might die in California. End me, red headphones. Dog. Um, 
I appreciate the the slight uh, amount of creativity this track brings. I'm, I'm gonna admit to you, all right. I'm not the biggest hater of Gunna or Young Thug. Jesus Christ, are they fucking phoning it in? I don't think that they could give less of a shit about Machine Gun Kelly's project, dude. That being said, still a couple of points above the rest of the shit I've been hearing. Second to last song for the thank God, uh, Sid and Nancy sitting in a tree. We were locked to the side of room. I ate a pill shaped like the moon. Didn't he already say he ate a pill shaped like a heart on the last album? I mean, Jesus Christ, this dude is so unoriginal. Holy shit. Oh. All right, you know what? I've suffered enough. I'm skipping. Uh, <laughs> fuck off. Oh. It's so bad. I swear to God, I never fall in love. At least his last album had some catchy shit going on in it, dude. Here, it's just, it's insufferable. Next song, Twin Flame. You told me I was your twin flame from a past life. As much as I would like to give this credit for being a little bit more um, heartfelt, it's still a crock of shit. Oh my god, don't give me this fucking Megan Fox bullshit here, dude. Wow, he's bringing it around to the first track. That's a really deep thing to do because this album's so cohesive. He's referencing back to the first track here, dude. In this film, there's no happy endings. Tying this whole thing together into a wonderful, happy bow. Yeah, that instrumental outro is pretty decent. Uh, it's unfortunate, though, that it's used to amplify the emotion that Machine Gun Kelly is trying to portray in this track, making it completely fucking pointless. Um, yeah, because why would I ever sit through this fucking self-loathing crap fest of a song to get to this powerful emotional uh, moment that's supposed to amplify a non-existent thing, dude? This album, this song sucks. Red headphones, I'm sorry, oh. but I'm not fucking sorry. It sucks! This album is terrible. It is straight up one of the worst albums I might have ever heard in my life. Actually, no. It is one of the worst albums I've heard in my life. Machine Gun Kelly does nothing here that feels in any way genuine. Everything here is just straight up like bullshit stories about uh, falling in love with emo girls and taking down the system, ripping out the monitors of the computers. Uh, dying in California, all this I'm um, sad shit, but at the same time, just like with nothing of value connected to it, it's just whining. These songs sound like shit. I can't give any praise to the instrumentals because once again, it's all used to just amplify the intense emotions in Machine Gun Kelly's non-existent fucking non-charismatic fucking singing and it is just absolute agony to sit through the 16 tracks and 40 minutes on this project i'm going to give this album a zero out of ten it is actually worse than his other album the only positives were some of the features which is yeah that's that's about it Machine Gun Kelly continues to suck. He writes the same song over and over and over again. This album structurally is identical to the last one with just the occasional uh, trap song, which again, the last album had fucking garbage trap songs, but here it's like, okay, instead of just having a guitar song turn to a terrible trap song, we're just gonna give you a terrible trap song to begin with. Yeah, this, I mean, at least the last album had a couple of catchy hooks. This has literally none of that and is a complete waste of time. Do not listen to this. Do not support Machine Gun Kelly. He is trash. He is garbage. He's a fucking weirdo. And he th is a self-proclaimed genius who's a fucking idiot. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music, and thanks for watching. Peace out.